we're going to be talking about sorcery contested realm and if it's a good investment bad investment sort of neutral is it more of a player's game does it have too much hype right now not enough hype does it need more marketing i'm really looking forward to this breakdown because i want to look at the recent performance from metazoo as well as flesh and blood just to compare recent performance from recent tcgs that got a little bit of steam behind them hello beautiful people captain zach sparrow here i think we're gonna call this sorcery sunday we can also do sorcery saturday but sorcery sunday for now and you will have to forgive me i am recording this on thursday i'm going to be busy this weekend so you are going to see this on sunday so i'm going to be a few days behind on times as far as prices go but as of thursday today you're looking at sorcery contested realm alpha kickstarter booster box prices going for around 800 dollars a box that's starting to get really hot and heavy here but it's getting really excited it'll be interesting to see what it does over the weekend so i guess you guys can let me know what that looks like we saw extremely similar price appreciation on the metazoo site as well right after that rudy video hmm. i'm just saying i've already sold into the hype again when I look at investing or stonking or whatever the case, whenever I see guaranteed and I say the G word when I can actually sell and make money right now today, I try to take advantage of that when I can. So yes, I am looking on a pullback on prices for the booster boxes in particular, but let's let's talk about real quick. I, I, I can talk about speculation a little bit later in this video, but I want to talk about why I think sorcery might be worth your while. I'll go ahead and throw some images up for you guys just so you can see some of the artwork and whatnot, but I, I, I wrote a little blurb here, actually. I can actually do this now with my new setup. So, so sorcery contested realm, and not too long ago, completed a record-breaking near four mil Kickstarter campaign. I mean, after it was all said and done, when the dust was settled, you're looking at a $4 million Kickstarter campaign, which is a testament to its potential. But what makes it stand out? Well, let's find out. One of the most striking aspects of Sorcery Contested Realm is its art. The game features hand-painted artwork from a diverse group of world-class artists and illustrators. These include the likes of Rodney Matthews, Santiago Caruso, and many more. Each artist brings their own unique art style to the game, creating a visually stunning and diverse collection of cards. You've got multiple dedicated Discord servers all ready for Sorcery contested realm we've seen sample cards and unique paintings and artworks go for not only hundreds but thousands of dollars already now is some of this speculative demand absolutely but is some of it genuine interest as well certainly read through the comments of what everyone's talking about in these discord servers now let's compare sorcery contested realm to magic the gathering and flesh and blood Magic the Gathering, as we all know, is a titan in the TCG world. It has a massive player base as well as established secondary market. Flesh and Blood, on the other hand, is a newer-ish game, even still. It's seen significant growth, though, in investment interest. Whether you want to call it speculative-driven demand or genuine interest, it does have a player base. It does have real-world people who are actually at tournaments playing the game. I know that's been memed a lot, but there's genuine interest there as well. So Sorcery, Contested Realm, like Flesh and Blood, is a new entrant in the market. However, it has a unique selling point, it's art. The hand-painted artwork gives the cards a distinctive retro feel that sets it apart from other TCGs. This could potentially make the cards more desirable to collectors and investors. Why could Sorcery Contested Realm be a great investment? Well, the game's unique art and reputation of its artists could drive demand for the cards. Additionally, the game's successful Kickstarter campaign suggests a strong initial player base, question mark? which could help establish a robust secondary market. Again, I understand there's a ton of speculative driven demand. Is there also genuine interest in the TCG as well? Yes, of course. And remember, investing in TCGs can be risky. It's important to do your research, blah, blah. But if you're a fan of stunning artwork and potentially exciting gameplay, Contested Realm might be worth considering. So what am I looking to do? I'm selling into the hype right now. I just want to pull the curtain back and let you guys know right now. I've sold a lot of my sorcery stuff right now. I have a few boxes left over. Actually, that one guy right there, that's the Four Elements deck box. I've got that piece right there. I've got a few more. I want to say just a couple of cases, but I, I, I'm not sitting on too much at this point. So once booster box prices pull back, which I'm definitely expecting to see here at some point. So if you look at the Flesh and Blood Welcome to Wraith booster boxes, those those alpha ones, those, they were going for thousands and thousands of dollars. And what did we see? We saw an aggressive pullback. You saw thousands of dollars lost on those booster boxes as well. Same thing on the MetaZoo side, the first edition Kickstarter... Cryptid Nation booster boxes, those were going for 
thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and those dropped substantially the last one that just sold as of today again i'm recording this on a thursday went for 1800 bucks those same boxes were selling for over 6500 dollars this time last year now you might also be saying something like yeah well you know metazoo's dead at this point it's never coming back or anything but what i'm trying to outline is the downside risk even on the sorcery tcg side so i love the artwork i love the direction that they're going with it i i love everything about it once beta comes out and kind of wets everyone's whistle so to speak or whatever non-weird way you can say that. Once we see a pullback, which I am expecting, that's when I'll be looking again. Historically, this takes months to play out. Months and months. Sometimes years. It's a long game. They have a ton they need to prove yet. They need to ramp up their marketing. It looks like they're working on that, but we have yet to see that. So, is it an interesting speculative play? Yes. Am I buying in right now? No. But here's the awesome part about it. You're gonna have a ton of comments where people are like, oh, this time it's different because every time there's ever a crash or something's running up, it's always this time's different and it always ends the same way. Hey, and I love comments like that. Those are the kind of people that I'm selling my boxes to right now. So there you have it, a real quick video. I just wanted to touch on Sorcery Contestor Realm, let you guys know, yes, I do have my eye on this TCG. Yes, I did back it. Yes, I did have boxes and have boxes currently as well. But hey, guess what? I'm not trying to pump this to the moon right now. I almost never asked for this, but if you could let me know your genuine thoughts on what you think Sorcery TCG, like where you think it's headed, why you like it or why you dislike it, I would love to hear that. And if you did enjoy this video, I will be making more sorcery videos, like I said, maybe like a sexy sorcery Sunday or something like that. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And until next time, it is exciting seeing these box prices just blister up right now. This might be an ill-timed point on my behalf because I don't know what box prices are gonna be in a few days. We'll see.